welcome to Robes, Riffs, and Coffee. Today's tea day for me. I hope you're having a great morning. You know, today I wanted to talk about something that has has been on my mind, um, that it actually really bothers me. Uh, I, I think that solopreneurs, specifically this grouping of entrepreneurs, think that they don't shouldn't have to spend a lot of money on their business. Mm-mm. This isn't about the solopreneurs. It's about the advertising out there and the thought leaders who are conveying that we don't have to spend money on our business. We can spend a little bit here or there, just take this cheap program, and, and then you'll have all the answers that you need. And the reality is, is that's not the truth. The truth is, is that even if you have a service-based business and you can get to sales quickly, You're going to spend a lot of money on your business if you do your business right over the long haul. It's just what's in it. I mean, when it comes to information marketing, getting your product out there, really creating good content marketing, and all all the programs, software, education, all the things that you need in order to be successful, it costs money. And you've got to be prepared for that. I'm not trying to scare you. I'm not telling you to close down your shop. I'm not saying get out of business. I'm saying get prepared. We've got to start to focus on sales as quickly as possible so that we can actually grow our business. If we don't focus on sales and figuring out how to bring, which is the quickest way to bring revenue in, and or figuring out how to bring revenue in via some infusion of cash, be it a loan, credit cards, uh, business line of credit, an investor, um, what's going to happen is is your business can't grow. It can only go so far. You need teams. And you need teams for a variety of reasons. The number one reason you're going to need a team and people that you have to hire is to inform you where you're not informed. There's so much about business that we don't know. And we don't even know to know it, you know. Um, (laughs) That sounded funny. You don't even know to know it, you know. you know, information marketing, I'll, I'll talk about that for a second because that's a real hot spot for me. You know, how do we, as, say, thought leaders or, you know, coaches, solopreneurs, experts, if you will, authors, how do we get our stuff out there? We have to learn how to do it. But if we're not good at doing it ourselves, we're not the best copywriters, we're not that great with technology, there is a learning curve, you don't have a lot of time you got to hire somebody else to do it because the amount of time that you'll spend trying to figure it out on your own makes it difficult and very few and far between ever make it happen. Look at the statistics. So you can go and take a quick online course and learn how to, you know, become successful and grab great pointers. But the reality is, is that if you're not taken through that process and you don't have uh, this is why I coach. If you don't have coaches, mentors, I don't care if you're paying for them or they're just, Well, actually, I do care if you're paying them. You've got to pay them or consultants, whoever it is you're bringing on your team. If you're you're marketing and you're bringing on marketing consultants, you have to pay them. They're the ones who are going to make up for your liabilities. They're the ones who are going to go, oh, I know how to build a sales funnel. This is how you do it. It's simple. It's not simple. It's simple for some people. Some of us are good at some things and some of us are not. So one of the most important things that we can do in business is recognize what we're good at and what we're not and know that we're going to have to spend money on the stuff that we're not good at or your business isn't going to get anywhere. It's like I was having this conversation last week with somebody who said, I just can't get sales. I'm just not good at sales. I said, you have two choices. Get good at sales or bring somebody into your business that is good at sales. That's it. Oh, third choice, close up shop. And I don't mean to sound so sharp-tongued about it, but that's the reality. It's that simple. If you want to make money in your business, you have to sell. So you're either personally going to sell, or your automated systems are going to sell, or your salesperson or your biz dev guy is going to sell. Like, you have to have leads coming into your business, and you have to sell. So if you're not going to do it, somebody else has to. Otherwise, there's no way your business is going to succeed. And I think that we have to start to be honest with ourselves. Not only are we going to spend money on our business, but we're going to spend money all the time. So if you focus on what you're doing on the sales side of things and you really mind the sales and everything that you do is about building business, providing value for your customers and, and, you know, improving your products and services, then you're on the right track. 
But if you're constantly just trying to figure out how to do those things and you can't afford to bring an expert on, it's going to be near impossible. So what am I saying? Good question. I'm saying get the support that you need. Figure out where your challenges are in business. What's holding you back? Why aren't you getting to the money? Where are your liabilities? And then figure out what it's going to cost you to buy those assets and then figure out where you're going to get the money to do it. It's the best investment, investing in yourself, but don't just keep investing in doing the same things that you've been doing that aren't working. If you're not getting anywhere with the things that you're trying to grow in, then you got to do something different. So I, I just, I feel we have to be transparent. There's this, this notion out there that to make money, you have to spend money. And you know what? I have to tell you, I've been an entrepreneur since I was like 18 years old. And that's what I know to be true. I have never not spent money to make money. Spent money on my education. Spent money to build products and services. Spent money on designers, website people, marketing people. It's You're constantly spending money. And that's not a bad thing. I think it's an awesome thing. You have to be smart about it and not waste your money and mind your checks and balances and understand what's going on with your business and your money and know that the investments that you're making make sense. But there's a lot of risk in entrepreneurship. It's just, what's the gamble that you want to take? Some people like a job. It's consistent. It's stable. They know how much money they're in. I don't know that world. For me, I like the world that is riskier. But um, I just think this concept of money needs to be talked about and... Yeah. So what are your thoughts? What have your what are your experiences? You know, there's not that many people that I know that made millions on their own. Like, yeah, they went from, you know, nothing to millions of dollars, but not without a team and not without investing money. So, um, yeah. Tell me what your thoughts are. I'd love to hear your experiences. I'd love for you to tell me that I'm totally wrong. But um I would love that. So share with me what your thoughts are. Just go ahead and put some comments in down below. Let's keep the conversation going. It's a really important conversation because you're important and I want you to succeed. And we've got to be honest about what it's going to take to get there. So, okay, let's talk soon. Bye.